Hello my beautiful Leos, this is Devs and this of course is your reading for the month of August 2022. Leo, it's lovely to be with you. I got a really strange energy coming through for you, Leo. Everything is great in my world, but things are really good, but... Leo, your career may be going really well. You could have cleared a chunk of debt. If you're a single mom, your kids are fine. I'm almost getting a slight restless energy. I want something to happen because everything else is good. Leo, it could be the divine asking you to just sit very quietly and appreciate what you have. Not every month something major has to happen, right? Could be. It could be that you're realising that you've got to a stage in your life where you're really ready for a serious commitment. Maybe you're thinking, OK, well, that's good. That's great. Everything's sorted out in that department. OK, now maybe I should consider getting social. So, Leah, whatever this is for you, it's going to be very interesting reading because the energy is... What's the right word, Michael? Transient. Thank you. It's transient energy, shifting energy around you. One morning you may wake up and think, life is great. I don't need anyone in my life. The next morning waking up thinking, yeah, it'd be really nice to spend the weekend with someone. And then getting back to your daily duties, your responsibilities, your work. Hmm. Okay, Leo. Let's see what comes through. Here we go. Hmm. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos. This is August 2022. What do we have for Leo, please, Michael? And who do we have with us in their reading? Thank you. Oh, Angela and Rose have come straight through, my spirit guides. Cedric is with me. He's telling me his toy bunny, Edward, wants to play. We can't play at the moment, Cedric. Can't play at the moment. He's pulling a face. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Metatron. Thank you. It may be that you're in a sort of life review, Leo, whatever age you are, whether you've just hit 30, whether or not you've just retired, you're in a review I've got the majority of things sorted out in my life. What do I want to do now? Where do I want to go next? What is the next goal I want to achieve? You're sitting contemplating. Yes, sitting contemplating. Hmm. But there's a disquiet under the surface. There's something missing, Leo. There's something missing. Yeah. 99.9% .9 of the time you're fine. And then it's just that mm, occasional dip in your energy. Okay. Judgment. Yeah. Now, this could be the Divine Leo telling you that it's okay. I almost feel as if the divine's put you in a holding pattern. It's as if they're asking you to just appreciate where you are, to relax, to enjoy this time. Okay. Because something very big is just about to come in for you. Something very big. Judgment is the divine saying, Leo, we want you to rest. We want you to relax. We don't want you to think about the next thing because we have already organized the next thing and it's going to be big. You will need to make a major decision. So hold on. Don't feel restless. Keep going. I'm hearing you're on the right path. For the majority of you, you're on the right path. You're in the right career. You're in the right location. It's good. There's something very big bubbling up from under the surface, Leo. And I almost feel as if they're wanting you to prepare yourself because you will need to make some kind of big change.
with the two of cups in the reverse, they're wanting you to make the decision to let go of an old connection that you may have been hanging on to, hanging on to the hope of moving into, because that person was not meant for you, Leo. Now, for some of you, that may be what the uncomfortable feeling was that bubbled up now and again. I really wish this person from the past would come back. I really wish that that person that I've kind of got my eye on would make a move. This is going to be uncomfortable, Leo, and you're not going to like it. But I think the divine is saying, please, Leo, let it go because it's not for you. It was never meant for you. Could have been a karmic soulmate. Yeah. In the past, the death card, you could have met a Scorpio. You could have gone through a massive transformation in your life. I mean, this could have been 10 years ago. Something huge happened in your life which transformed your situation. After that time, with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Divine asked you to give up on a situation. I think you did. I think you did it with a lot of reservation. I don't think you wanted to, but I think it was too heavy for you to carry. Maybe this is a situation that you were involved in in the past that ended. You might have hung on to it for dear life, Leo. But eventually you had to let it go. I feel the divine is saying, Leo, you actually did the right thing. Even though you may have felt this was your person, this was the love of your life, this is my soulmate, this is my divine twin, the divine is saying... We've got something else coming in that's even better, which is why we were not allowing you to keep this connection going. Knight of Cups. Leo, it could well be that what you realise this might be is someone coming in to tell you that they love you. Now, this could be someone that's been watching you behind the scenes for a long time. It could be someone who's been checking out what you've been doing. You may not know that this person has been keeping an eye on you, but they have. And they're coming in to express that they have strong feelings. But first, Leo, you're going to have to let go of someone that you were hanging on to the hope of being with. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. In the immediate future, Leo, the star, they are bringing you your dream come true, your wish. Whatever your wish was, with that dream come true, with that wish, is going to come a lot of healing you could have Aquarius in your chart. This person coming in could be an Aquarius. But they're bringing you your wish, whatever that is. In your fears, you're fearing letting go of a situation, Leo, that I have to say has already gone. I think, Leo, you've been hanging on to the hope of resurrecting a situation with someone, bringing it back to life. But the divine is saying, Leo, we really want you to let this go because we've got something much better coming in for you. This is your true person. Don't hang on to the past because there's a sense here, Leo, that you were hanging on to a situation that had already gone. They want you to move forward. Yes. Eight of Cups in reverse, Leo. You've got someone coming back in who cannot forget you. Cannot forget you. 
This is not the person that you felt was your forever after. This is someone else, but they're actually better for you. So whoever you were hanging on to, Leo, may be quietly, subconsciously wondering if they would ever come back. I think the divine is saying they're not coming back. They're not coming back. But they've got someone coming in who wants to offer you love. Could be an Aquarius or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. This is someone that you're supposed to be with. This is someone who cannot seem to forget you, which is lovely. In your hopes, you're hoping to have the courage to let whatever situation you've been hanging on to go for good. Heal and pick yourself up. Ready to reconnect with this other person. You're realising that it's time, Leo. Because it may be the divine is saying, come on, Leo, you've wasted enough time hoping that this past person and you will come back together again. It is not meant to be. We are telling you that if you have the courage to totally let go of whatever this was, whoever this was, we're bringing you in your actual wish come true. Someone who is going to be balanced in their energies, somebody who is going to offer a lot of healing to you in your life. A beautiful, calm energy. And we want you to embrace it. Yes. Leo, you've been sat in a lot of confusion. You may have dated quite a few people. But I feel that you pushed people away. Even without really knowing you were doing it. Because you were hoping that this person from the past that you fell in love with and you will come back together again. Leo, it's not happening. Okay, the divine is saying, we're not going to allow that. You have to let this go. Make a decision to let this go. Yes, it's going to feel painful. This was a past life connection. But I feel what they're doing is preparing you for a much more balanced relationship. And whoever's coming in, Leo, genuinely is in love with you. They're not wanting to be with you for any other reason other than they love you. I think this person's been watching you from a distance for quite a while. And they're coming back in to literally say to you, I'm coming back to you, Leo, because I just couldn't be without you. It's going to be quite a surprise. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Okay, Leo, you're dropping this. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. If you don't really understand what I'm talking about, I think, Leo, you were involved with somebody that you saw as a soulmate. Sadly, ultimately, I feel that this person actually saw this connection as an affair. Okay, I know it's painful. I know it's difficult. You probably already know that. But this is the divine reiterating that. Yes, Leo, the person that you thought was your forever after was actually just an affair. What they're also saying, Leo, is with the Six of Cups in reverse, this person is not coming back. They're not going to offer you commitment, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And with the Ten of Wands in reverse, please, Leo, let this person go. Let them go. Because if you stubbornly hang on to the hope that one day, maybe in 10 years time, they're going to turn upon your doorstep, that's not going to happen. And they don't want you to waste your life. I'm connecting with someone here who outwardly is very strong, very confident. Maybe this is somebody who gets attention from people. But you have been subconsciously pushing those people away because underneath you've been hoping that someone in particular that you fell in love with maybe a while ago, could have been years ago, is suddenly going to arrive. I don't think they are. They're saying heal. Let this person go for good. Okay. 
Now that means deleting photographs, deleting their number, stop watching tarot readings on them, stop hanging on to their energy. And once you do that, everything's going to shift. And we want to bring in your true person. And with the Seven of Cups in reverse, this is you coming out of confusion, realising that you have to look to the future, not to the past. But I do feel that the person coming in is somebody that you met in the past, but you didn't have a full-blown relationship with. Underneath the deck, yeah, Seven of Wands. They're asking you to accept defeat. They're asking you to let this go, Leo. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It may be that you were hoping this person was going to come back in. They're not. Let it go. This is you reviewing the past. Let the past go. Because, oh dear, Knight of Wands in reverse, this was someone who actually just wanted a fling, Leo. They didn't really want a relationship. This is somebody who wanted some fun. Okay? But what we have got is the Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is someone coming back in who wants to offer you a stable relationship. Now, underneath that, we have the Hermit, which is Virgo, and we have the Moon, okay, which is someone who is scared of reaching out to you. This is also someone who is keeping deep secrets, maybe secretly in love with you, could be a Cancerian. We've also got the Hangman. This person is stuck on you, Pisces energy. And I feel this person's coming in. Yeah, oh my goodness. Eight of wands underneath that. So whoever this is, and we've got three major arcana there, guys. Okay. The hermit, the moon, and the hanging man. Whoever this is, I think the divine is letting you know that they do love you. They want to be with you. And this is somebody you can actually trust. You can trust. I don't know why I'm called to say that. You can trust them. Okay. Oh my goodness, Leo. Sorry it took a while. I had a lot of channeling coming through. People, let's jump in and see where this goes. So in summary, Leo, you are called to let go of someone that you were in love with a long time ago. You've been hanging on to the hope that they'll come back. They're not coming back. This was just a fling. This was just an affair. They possibly moved on with somebody else or they're staying with a partner they were with, if that's relevant. You have someone that you met relatively recently. I think you turned this person away. I think that there was a lot of baggage from the past, Leo, that prevented you from trusting this new connection. I think the divine is bringing this person back to you because genuinely they are in love with you. But they're saying, Leo, you have to let go of the person that you've been hanging on to the hope of being with again. They're gone. It's done. They're not coming back. Okay. Whew. Right now. So we have the judgment card. The divine is saying, Leo, you need to make a serious judgment call. That with the two of cups in the reverse, the person that you thought you were in love with, the person that you thought was your true person, your soulmate, your divine twin, is not coming back. We want you to acknowledge that and to have the courage to make the decision to let this go. I'm hearing, finally, let it go, Leo. Not for you. Not for you. In the past, with the energy of the death card, you could have met a Scorpio, or it could be that you met this person, but things very quickly ended. You may have waited and hoped for transformation of that connection, but with the energy of the Nine of Wands, it got too heavy for you, too stressful. It could be that you were permanently looking at your phone. It could be that you waited for a year for this person to come back or two years. Eventually, Leo, I think you realised you had to let it go. So I think you physically stopped believing that this person would text you or, or call you or turn up in your life. I think you realise they weren't going to do that. But I still think that underneath is the reason why you've been sort of keeping yourself in a bit of a cocoon, in a bit of a bubble. I'm just going to keep myself available 
just in case they come back. Leo, they really want you to drop this. They want you to drop this. Because, Knight of Cups, you have someone coming in and they're sort of pre-warning you who may be a bit younger than you, yes. They could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. This is someone who has a lot of love for you and this is someone that you can trust. I feel that, Leo, this restlessness, this disquiet that you're feeling underneath the surface is you somehow intuitively understanding that you do have to let the past go because something big is coming in and you're right. Michael, when have you got the energy of the star coming in for my Leos, please? Thank you. Fourth of September, he's pointing forward, he's smiling, he's keeping pointing forward. Okay, now that means, if you're familiar with my readings, that means, as you know, that there's no end date, as in this could be an ongoing relationship. At this point of time, around about, I would say, last week of August, first week of September, what you're thinking about, Leo, is the star. You may be thinking of an Aquarius that you knew in the past. You could be knowing that you have to heal in order to bring new love into your life for you to be emotionally available and open for new love. It could be that the divine is literally bringing in your dream come true, the person that is really right for you. What is really lovely, Leo, is that in their energy, so this is the energy that you're feeling at towards the end of August. I somehow know my divine is bringing in my true person. I, I feel it. And you're healing any baggage from the past, any upset, any high emotions, any fear. You're just getting rid of it. Balancing your energies, balancing the yin and the yang, the masculine and feminine within you to be ready for this new relationship. But I do think this is someone that you met before because they're sat in the Eight of Cups in reverse. Now, before you guys say, oh, well, this is my dream person that I thought would come back 10 years ago. No, it's not. This is someone that you pushed away because you were sat waiting for this ex to come back or ex-lover to come back, but they never did. They're not going to. This is someone who was very disappointed, Leo, that you moved away from them. You didn't accept their love because I think you were hanging on to the hope of reuniting with somebody else. Again, the divine is saying that is not happening. Make the decision to let it go. That is not coming back together again. Your true person is coming in. This is someone that was very disappointed that you pushed them away. I feel they're coming back to you, whoever this is. Because they simply can't be without you, Leo. They can't detach from your energy. And at this point, if you're ready, if you're balanced, if you're healed, this could really work. Give this person a chance. What you're fearing is that a connection in the past that already crumbled is not going to be rebuilt. That tower is not going to be rebuilt. Leo, I have to say, I think you're right. I think you're right. Whoever this person was, it could have been anyone, they're not coming back. That tower has fallen. You're not supposed to reunite with that person. They could have been a karmic soulmate. The person that you're supposed to be with is here. They're coming in. What you're hoping when this person turns back up, whoever they are, what you're hoping is to have the courage to get yourself psychologically out of this type of energy. Now, this can be the energy of, I don't know why I'm feeling a bit restless and a bit down, but I am. This is you hoping that your ex is going to come back. They're not going to. The divine is saying, come on, Leo, we want to lift you out of that energy. Deal with it. 
we're not bringing them back into your life. It's over and done with. We want you to heal. We want you to pick up that sword and get strong again. Get confident again. Be open to love again. Even though inside you may be thinking still about this person. They want you to make a decision to let it go, Leo, because they're not coming back. This is somebody who really just wanted a fling, really wanted a short-term connection. For you masculine Leos, this could have been a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse who stayed married to a partner and they had a fling with you. Could have been an earth sign, okay? For others of you, for my female Leos, this person from the past was never going to offer you long-term commitment. This was just a fling. They're not coming back and they're asking you, the divine is asking you to let this go for good. The outcome, Seven of Cups in reverse. Leo, in the upright, this is potentially a lot of offers around you. So you may have options. What the divine is saying is there is one particular person out of these options that might have been hanging around in your environment. You might have known that there are people that might have been interested in you, maybe for the last year or so. There's one particular person who is actually in love with you, but they have not had the courage to tell you because they were afraid that you would push them away. It might be that that's what you did in the past, Leo. You just disregarded this. The divine is saying, don't disregard this person. They're very important in your life and this could be a beautiful balanced connection. Seven of Wands in the reverse. So, Leo, have you been defensive? Have you been pushing people away? Did you push this person away who wanted to get to know you? It's because you were still hanging on to this person from the past. They're saying, please, accept defeat, let it go. Let it go. Because, Leo, deep breath. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, you were very disappointed. You could have put a lot of time and effort into this connection. But it wasn't meant to be. Knight of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who literally wanted a fling, male or female. This is someone who wanted passion in their life and they didn't take the connection seriously, Leo. They didn't take you seriously. Ace of Pentacles. This person who can't forget you is coming in really wanting to build on this connection with you. They're sincere. And they're trying again, despite the fact, Leo, that you may have disregarded this person, you may have pushed them away, you may have said, I'm busy, it's not for me. I think the issue is, is that you're too young, you're too old for me, whatever this was, you live a distance away. This person is your person. And the divine is saying, prepare yourself. Okay. Let's delve in. Archangel Michael, what is the energy, please, of the Judgment card crossed with the Two of Cups in the reverse? The Hermit. Okay. So I could be connecting with a Leo with Virgo in their chart. It could be that the Divine is saying to you, Leo, this Hermit is not coming back to you. It could be a Virgo that you're waiting for. They're not coming back to you. You have to let this person go, not for you. You may also have been holding yourself up, Leo, feeling a bit sad, feeling a bit down, believing that this person from the past would eventually turn up again. They're not. The divine is saying, face it, accept it, heal, look to the future. The devil, Capricorn energy. What they're saying, Leo, is release what might have been a quiet obsession with this person because they were unhealthy for you. This is someone who didn't want to offer you long-term commitment. This is somebody who would not have been good for you. You weren't on the same page. You may, though, have felt this past life connection, so it might have confused you. Maybe for some of you, you thought this was your person. So what is the divine asking Leo to do? Three of 
Three of Swords, yes. To heal from heartbreak and to look to the future, Leo, because it's time. They don't want you to waste any more time quietly wondering whether or not this person will come back to you. I don't think they will. I don't think they are planning on coming back to you. I think it's done. And the divine is saying, heal, let go completely so that we can bring in your true person. What is the nine of wands in the reverse, in the immediate past, please, for my Leos? You eventually gave up on this. It was tough. Two of swords, yeah. So you had to push down your feelings. For some of you, you may have realised this person didn't want to make a decision about you. And this is you actually giving up on this. Psychologically, they were still in and around your energy. But on a physical basis, you may have said to this person, I don't think we should talk again. I don't want you to contact me again. Or they could have just walked away from you. But there was a sense of having to give up on this. You didn't want to. You had to push down your feelings. But the divine was saying this was the right thing to do. Three of Wands in reverse. So you may have waited for this person to come back to you. I don't think they did. I think you might have waited in vain. But you still got them on your mind. The divine wants you to clear that energy. Michael, what is the energy of the Knight of Cups? Now, this is the surprise person that's coming in. You can feel it, Leo, the moon. Maybe a Cancerian, maybe a Pisces for some. Page of Wands. It's going to start with a little message. They're just wanting to reconnect with you. What is on Leo's mind? What is on Leo's mind? You're scared, Leo. You're scared. Five of Wands in reverse. This is you automatically assuming that someone wants to come back into your life and just cause drama. Or you're going to have to fight off the competition for them or it's going to cause you a lot of internal upset. You're very nervous about this. It's almost as if though, Leo, you can feel this energy coming. You may be in a very calm place in your life right now wondering why why isn't anything happening oh okay it's because the divine has something up their sleeve that is your true person because you're ready leo you're ready you just need to clear out the past but you're worried i don't know is this person going to cause me hassle and upset and drama and stress i don't need it i don't need it you need to Get yourself into a balanced, calm place, which I think you're doing here. But first of all, let's have a look at this person's energy. Who is this person? Who is this person? The King of Wands. This person is highly attractive. He's ready to take action. He's looking directly at you, Leo. This could be an Aries Leo Sag. Could be a fellow fire sign. This person is ready to take action. This is someone who wants to be with you. And I don't think this person is going to take no for an answer. I like the fact they're sitting in the King of Wands. This is someone mature, grounded. If this is someone who was sat in any immature energy in the past, they've grown up, they've ascended. They sorted their life out and they're ready. And they're looking directly at you. They may come back into your life whilst you're still sort of healing. But you may recognise this as actually your real divine partner. What energy is this person sat in? They're going to tread very carefully, Leo, with you. Page of Pentacles. This is someone who's going to turn up with a little gift. They're going to be extremely polite. This is someone who is going to romance you. This is someone who may even say to you, it's okay, Leo, if you just want to be friends for now, but I'm telling you, 
that I want to be with you. I love you, but I understand, I understand that you're a bit nervous, but I want to tell you how I feel. This is a really mature, grounded person. They're not going to push you if you're not ready. They're going to quietly be there, allowing you to open up to them bit by bit when you are ready. This is someone who almost is sitting in the energy of however long it takes, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here when you're ready. I'm here when you want to talk about a relationship with me. But for now, if you just want to be friends, that's fine too. It's a beautiful energy. This is someone very open to compromise, to being flexible with you. I almost feel as if they're going to woo you with kindness, compassion, a very calm, relaxed energy. But this is someone, Leo, who's very sexy. King of Wands is the sexiest guy of the deck. So there is going to be a very strong attraction. Wow. Can you tell us more about this guy? Can you tell us more about this guy? King of Swords, Leo. This is someone speaking their truth. This is someone who is being open and honest with you. I simply think they mean business. It's almost as if they've set their heart on you and however long it takes, Leo, they're going to wait. Okay, however long it takes, they're going to wait. Yep, yeah, Ace of Cups. You're the person for them. I mean, they've met their person. Now, you could be connecting with an Aquarius Libra Gemini, an Aries Leo Sag, or somebody with all of that in their chart. But this is someone who means business. I mean, this is your husband-to-be Leo for my feminines. This is your, your person. They're not going anywhere. They're going to give you as much time as you need, but they're going to make it very clear. Wow, cars are flying. Yeah, I was going to say they're going to make it very clear that they're not just wanting a good time. They're not dating anyone else. Okay. They're ready to settle and they've got their heart set on you. Goodness me, Leo. Do we have any more information about this person? Any more information about this person? Temperance. This is someone that was definitely divinely guided to come back to you. Strong soul connection. You could be reconnecting with a Sagittarius or someone with Sag in their chart. This is someone who is very happy to tread water. Whenever you're ready, Leo, I'm just going to be a phone call away and we'll go out. It's that type of energy. If this is somebody a little bit pushy before, you're going to find this person completely changed. Completely changed. This is someone bending over backwards, Leo, to make you feel comfortable to give them a chance. This is someone who wants this that much. What is the energy of this person, please? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They could have ended a long-term situation and they might have been healing for the last few months. They're basically ready, Leo. They're ready. Okay. Right, so we've got the page of swords that came out. What this person wants you to know, which is a message of truth, is that with the nine of swords, they've been feeling really sad and lonely without you. They've been feeling very stressed. With the energy of the full Aries energy, they didn't know whether or not you would be accepting them in your life again. This is someone who is ready to take a little bit of a risk in reacquainting themselves with you. With the hangman energy, they have ascended. This could be a Pisces. They understand the strength of the connection between the two of you. And with the energy of the world, 
This is someone who's going to communicate over the World Wide Web. They could actually travel to see you. There's also going to be a lot of communication between the two of you. Yeah, justice in the reverse. They have definitely ended a legal contract. Now, if this isn't somebody who's just got divorced, this could be somebody who has left behind a Libra. This is somebody, Leo, who might even have ended a job in one area of the world with a world card to be in your area, to move to where you are. This is someone that serious. How does Leo feel at this point of time when this person comes in? How does Leo feel? Four of Pentacles. You're wanting to tentatively open up. But also, Leo, when this person comes in, because this is you looking at the past, holding on to the past, you're going to realise that you do actually naturally want to heal and forget the person that you may have been hanging on to. Psychologically, emotionally. This is, oh my goodness, now it's going to be easier for me to let this other person go because I know now that this is my true person. Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. You may realise, Leo, with a bit of a shock that you have felt a bit on your own. Yes, life has been good. Family's been good, as in if you're a single parent, your kids are great, your mom or dad are great, okay? It could be your career is going well, your house is looking beautiful, your pets are good. But you may have missed that special person. And this is you suddenly realising that this could be your person. What else is Leo thinking about? What else is Leo thinking about? What else is Leo thinking about? Two of Wands. You're a little bit nervous. You're standing at crossroads. I think this is pretty major, Leo. I think this is what the Divine planned for you all along. I think that the person that you were hanging on to was actually a karmic soulmate. Two of Cups and the Devil. I think this was a test. You passed the test because you let them go or you allowed them to walk away from you. You didn't try to hang on to them. But emotionally, this was incredibly painful for you because you may have felt that was your person. They're saying to you, Leo, Leo, you have already learned the lessons you need to learn. Please allow us to help you complete the last lesson. Let this person go because we want to bring in your forever after love. And this is them coming in. So this is you thinking, oh my goodness, two of wands. I'm standing at major crossroads in my life. If I say yes to this person, this will be life changing. I mean, this is you two discussing a future, maybe moving to a different area of the world. Maybe them moving in with you, you moving in with them, getting engaged, talking about kids. This is going to be massive in your life. And when you reconnect with this person, this is suddenly going to be what you're thinking about. Wow. This isn't just, hey, how are you? I hope you're well. This is, oh my God, this could be huge. Because they're not going anywhere, Leo. They're allowing you to totally take the reins of this connection. They're sitting there very quietly very attractive, speaking their truth. I want to be with you, Leo, but it's going to be in your own time. I'm happy to wait. I'm not going anywhere. You are my person. I know that. I am free to be with you. I'm just waiting for you to give me the go ahead. I mean, that's very tempting, Leo, isn't it? Why is Leo sat at the two of wands i think you're just nervous this is a very very big shift for you high priestess pisces energy you're trying to use your intuition you're trying to seek divine guidance as to whether or not this is really right for you 
Don't pull back communication from this person, Leo, because this could be you not speaking to this person for a few weeks. Maybe because you don't know what to say. Maybe because you're not quite sure. Keep in communication with them, Leo, even as friends. Don't shut off and go into fantasy land. Keep your feet on the ground and keep communicating. But I think this is you using your intuition that this is your person. What is Leo thinking about? Hierophant in reverse. That this person is divorced. You may be wondering if you have the courage to let go of the hope of a Taurus coming back. You may be thinking about the concept of religion, culture, for some reason, at that point. What else is on Leo's mind? Queen of Cups. For my male Leos, you may be wanting to pursue a Queen of Cups, who you know loves you, which means you have to leave somebody else behind. It could be for my female Leos, and I think this is more relevant for my female Leos. This is you deciding to open up your heart, which is beautiful, Leo. You could very well have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. I think after some careful thought, after connecting with your intuition, you're realising at this point, I'm standing at crossroads. Life is good, but I do miss a partner. And this is you giving this person a chance because they're coming in in the perfect energy, Leo. King of Wands, King of Swords, they've ended a situation, they've healed, they're ready, they're making a very big change to be with you, which could be relocation. They're also allowing you to take this at your own pace. I mean, what more do you want? It's almost as if they're saying to themselves, I have to pull out all the stops, everything on the table for Leo. Because it's the only way that my Leo is going to accept my offer. And then they're just sitting, letting you think about their offer. I'm not going to push you any way in particular, Leo. But I'm here, ready to whisk you off for dinner. Ready to take you out. Ready to ply you with flowers and whatever this is. I'm here. Just give me the word. Leo, I think you're going to open up to this person. I do. What is on Leo's mind? What is on Leo's mind? Ten of Cups. What you're realising at this point, Leo, is that this person could make you incredibly happy. Incredibly happy. There's obviously a very strong chemistry. I think you two get on very well. This person is also highly intelligent. The King of Swords is quite intelligent, is quite intellectual. So you two are going to have amazing conversations and the physical attraction is going to be off the charts. So what more do you want, Leo? Other than the fact that to know this person is single, which they are, okay? I think the divine is saying, come on, Leo, what more do you want? We're bringing in the perfect person for you. And if you turn this person away, we may not be able to find anyone else for you. That is so perfect for you. So please just accept this person. Move forward with this person. But let this karmic soulmate go that you've been thinking about from the past. Okay. All right. What is the energy between these two people? Five of Cups in reverse. So I think, Leo, they've quietly been missing you, okay? And I think you have been sat in the past thinking about the wrong person, Leo. <laughs> With the card in the reverse, both of you are feeling quietly optimistic. I think you're quite excited about this deep down. I do think you're going to take it slowly because you've both been through a great deal. But this has a great chance of moving into something really beautiful. Okay. 
Time is ticking. Michael, what is the Seven of Cups in the reverse, please, for my Leos? You're coming out of confusion. You're realizing something. King of Cups, that this person loves you. They could have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart. You're realizing this is your person and you may realize you love them. King and Queen of Cups, guys. King and Queen of Cups. What is on Leo's mind? Okay, Leo, you may be a bit wobbly. You may feel a bit nervous. You may think, oh my gosh, I don't have the courage to move forward with this. But you will, you will. I think the enormity of the potential of this is going to kind of knock you sideways and you're going to need a few days to breathe and settle your energies and think about this. But don't overthink and stress. That's one really big piece of advice coming through here. Don't sit in your head and just panic. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if they break my heart? Well, yeah, but Leo, what if the sky falls down, right? I mean, at, at some point, you're going to have to get out of this stagnant energy Really push away these energies, push away this pain from the past, heartbreak from the past, and look to the future. The future's bright. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking at that and I'm hearing the future's orange. I'm sorry, that was an old advert. But yeah, there's a lot of passion in your future, Leo. Embrace it. Don't sit there worrying about the next 10 years. Just go with it. What is Leo going to do? What is Leo going to do? You guys make me laugh. What is Leo going to do? What is Leo going to do? What is going on here, guys? The cars aren't coming out. What is Leo going to do? No? Okay. Don't know what it was, but anyway. Okay. Michael? Oh, he wants me to turn the deck. Okay, sorry, guys. Yeah, okay. Long moment. Okay, what is Leo going to do? Coming out now. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Leo, you're going to realise this is a destined connection, and I think you're going to go for this. The wheel is turning in your favour. This is very, very exciting. Whew, cards are coming out now. Four of Cups in the reverse, yeah. So maybe after sitting, thinking, do I, don't I, I'm not sure, you're going to recognise this as a divine love and I think you're going to say, hell yes. Okay, sorry I needed a few days to think about this, but uh, oh yeah, okay. Yes. Yes, 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 Leo. Yeah. Six of Wands, victory and success. Okay. You may feel as if you've literally won the jackpot. Goodness me, guys. Okay. And we're on. Eight of Wands. Passionate messages going backwards and forwards. You feeling as if you're on top of the world. This is a beautiful connection. Hmm. Wow, people. What else is on Leo's mind? What else is on Leo's mind? The lovers, Gemini energy. You could be connecting to a Gemini, with a Gemini. There's a lot of attraction. There's a soul connection. This is really beautiful. This is really beautiful, guys. Knight of Swords. A lot of very straightforward, honest communication between the two of you. What is this communication all about? Travel, the chariot. Okay, should I move to your area? Are you moving to my area? What are we doing here? <laughs> wow. Leo, I feel after a little bit of hesitation, you're going to say yes, and then suddenly it's going to be all systems go. And this is going to move forward really fast. But remember that you have the reins of the situation if it's a little bit too fast too soon, just say to this person, I'm not ready to talk about getting really serious or us moving in together or anything. But Leo, I think that it's almost as if you're going to want to. It's almost as if you're going to want to. Can we have a final couple of cards, please, for my Leos? Final couple of cards for my Leos. 
poor ones. Well, yeah, um, you may not have a choice. This may move forward quickly. Four of Wands. I mean, that's talking about moving in together, talking about the future, talking about relocation, lots of messages, lots of honest communication. Um, what more can I say? Leo, this is a stunning reading. Victory and success, the lovers, strong soul connection. An offer to commit. All you have to do is walk away from the past and... Don't allow yourself to sit too long at crossroads. Give yourself two or three days, but go with this. If you want to, obviously. Okay. Yeah, Leo, Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who means business. It could be a slightly younger earth sign, but this is someone who really wants to be with you. Any more energy between these two people that we should know about? Any more energy? Any more energy? Michael, anything at all for my Leos? No, he's just, he's just saying that's it. Okay. Leo, right. Very briefly, we'll move into Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's have a look and see what this person would want to say to you. Yeah, I feel you, even though we are apart. This is a very strong past life connection. This is someone who I think is going through ascension, the dark night of the soul. They recognize that you're their person. They feel this energy between the two of you. They can't forget you. They're coming back. And if you allow this person to come into your life again, Leo, this could go all the way. This could be the person you end up with. Okay. So I'm leaving it there, guys. Beautiful reading, Leo. Oh, my goodness. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Leo.